Hey there beautiful people, it's Sun Fruit Dan here. So, I'm on day 14 of No Fat Now and I just wanted to update you on what is going on with me and what's been going on for the last few days because I haven't posted a video updating you on what's been going on. So yeah, I've been feeling relatively good the whole reboot basically, the best I've ever felt and it's due to me doing intermittent fasting with the correct supplementation and going to bed early and just doing fitness as well to boost endorphins and make it feel good all round. So yeah, I've been very, very strict still with my exercise regime, running on a regular basis, doing a lot of high intensity interval training on my bike, doing a lot of resistance training like chin ups and also push ups and squats and I've actually been beating some records as well. And yeah, I've just been pushing myself with the fitness and I'm getting the best results that I ever have done. And yeah, one of the reasons will be because I'm doing the intermittent fasting, which boosts human growth hormone by up to 2,000% for men, also boosts testosterone levels by 67%, and it has loads of other various factors as well. So this is why it's making it a lot easier for me to get through the reboot, basically, and just make me feel absolutely amazing. But I will mention, the last three days I've noticed some changes, which three days ago, Every day since then, my energy levels have been a bit lower. And basically, I worked out the reason why. And one, I was having an intolerance reaction to a certain food, but also at the same time, I'd also been under eating. Not intentionally, but basically, I've started having different cooked foods at the end of the day. And basically due to all of the different holidays that have been going on like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and then there's been the Thai New Year's Day, which is after New Year's Eve and so on, most shops have been closed. So I haven't managed to get the foods that I normally cook. So basically I've been cooking certain different various beans and other different lentils and other similar things like that. And basically when I've been making the meals, I've not really been liking them. I've never tried these things before. And yeah, I've just been massively under eating at the end of the day because it's just not been that tasty. So I have noticed for the last three days, yeah, my energy levels have been lower and I've noticed my mood has been lower. I've also not had no near as much brain power. It's been so much harder to just focus upon things and I'm finding that I've been nowhere near as productive and nowhere near as motivated to do anything as well. And at one point I thought it was flatlining. Uh, some of you may have heard of this or not. But yeah, I worked out it was just basically me under eating. So today I've ate enough and I feel absolutely amazing. It's at the end of the day now, I've had my cooked food meal and I'm feeling brilliant and here I am making this video. So yeah, I just want to mention to people, make sure you are eating enough food. If not, you're going to become a bit of a more of an emotional wreck. You're going to find that you can become a lot more upset easily, a lot more angry easily. You can just be all over the place. It just makes life a lot harder and so many people are under eating basically and if you're not giving your mind and body the right fuel and enough of it you're gonna just drop in energy levels so make sure you're getting in those simple carbohydrate foods in their whole plant-based form they're the best for you giving you so much energy from the nutrients it basically gives you and the glucose that is one of the number one fuels for you so basically yeah the other thing that i've noticed as well is my sex drive has been insanely high and I have had a few temptations to go towards ejaculation or masturbate or even watch porn. It's been, yeah, it's been like, how could I say it? It's like being a teenager again. It has been very intense. So basically what I found is that I could be out at the spa and then all of a sudden all these visualizations are coming up of sexual things happening and I'm like, whoa, like sometimes my mind would go there a little bit but then I'd get back into like this physical reality, stop fantasizing and just, yeah, completely pass through. So yeah, what I become aware of is that when this is happening to me, I just need to shift my focus as quickly as possible. I'm already aware of this before, but certain points I was letting it go a bit far further than I normally would do. And I was like, no, don't do this because what it's gonna do is overstimulate myself if I keep doing this and I will end up having a sexual dream and I will most likely ejaculate. And that's the last thing that I want because I've had that happen a couple of times. And yeah, it's always due to overstimulating yourself in one way or another. And then, yeah, like I even had things like a friend hugged me 
for like a few seconds and my sex drive went really high and another time I was on the scooter with my girlfriend and I saw this girl on a scooter but I couldn't really see her face, the shape of her body or anything. And I was like to my girlfriend, my sex drive has gone so high. So just all of these things that triggered me for my sex drive to go really, really high. It's just like, whoa. <laughs> but yeah, all I'm doing is channeling that sexual energy that keeps coming in into making videos and then into other areas of my life. And then I just become a lot more successful in life. And yeah, I've run multiple businesses. So I channel it into that as well and into my fitness and yeah. It just helps me improve my life so much. And I found over the last three years of doing no fat, this is what made me go in the direction of becoming the best version of myself and really creating a life that I had always dreamed and desired, basically. But yeah, I talk about my whole three years experience and the whole journey of no fat for that long in a video, which I'll put a link down below so you can check that out if you want to. But yeah. Then something happened. So basically, during this whole time, me and my girlfriend had, had sex once because we've just been very busy in life. We normally have sex more often, but yeah, we're just not recently. But what we've been doing is something known as Carezza bonding cues. So basically, what I find is when I have ejaculated, I become very disinterested in my partner. It sort of pushes us apart a bit. And that is basically the mating program that's in place, basically. It wants you to go off and fertilize more and more females. It's basically because you are here to procreate and your body is driven to naturally do that. But instead, what we've been doing, instead of obviously ejaculating, is we've been doing these Carezza bonding cues, which you do things like just spooning each other for a short amount of time, one or one could listen to someone's heart for like three minutes or doing some other ones. And basically what that does is it releases lots of oxytocin, which is basically the love chemical. And basically that brings you together, it's the bonding chemical. So we're doing that, which is bringing us closer together and improving our relationship overall, and just making us feel happier in the relationship, more loved up, and it's just improving our whole lives overall because we've got a more happy, fulfilling relationship that just feels so connected and intertwined. So we absolutely love that. But yeah, basically we did have sex and when was it? Not yesterday, the day before. And it was so amazing. It went on for about half an hour or so. And basically what happened was we was doing one of the bonding cues together and we we're also combining meditation for 15 minutes and doing the circulation of sexual energy with the microcosmic orbit. And I'll talk about that more in a video which you can check out below by clicking the link below to watch a video on that. And then all of a sudden, during that time near the end of the meditation, I had a strong urge to kiss her a lot. So I did when it ended and she was like, really like, yeah, let's just say between the both of us, the sexual energy was very, very high because we haven't had sex for a while. And yeah, both our sex drives are quite high recently because we've both been sticking to the no fat. So yeah, we ended up having sex and it was the most amazing sex that I've had in so long. I felt super sensitive, so did she. We did the Carezza Bay sex, which is a slow type of sex which is like the most profound sex that you could ever have that just blows my mind. Like you feel so sensitive and so did your partner and you experience so much pleasure throughout your whole body. It's just like, wow, it's like next level. I highly recommend this to anyone. If you wanna learn more about this, check out Cupid's Poison Arrow. And we've also got my me and my girlfriend's own channel where we talk about this more in detail, which I'll put a link down below if you want to check out our channel that we've made together. And also there's a website called reunited.info as well. And there's loads of valuable information that you can learn from all of those resources. And for us, when we embarked on this journey of doing the crazy instead of the porn-based fertilization sake, it's just like, wow, it's transformed our sex life more than we could have ever possibly imagined. And yet it involves no ejaculation. I'd like to mention that quickly because yeah, it's just gonna mess up your neurotransmitters like your dopamine and make your prolactin go high, which is like your sex breaks. And yeah, it's just gonna have a whole negative wide array effects. And you just don't want that at all. And I know that I don't because yeah, it just affects my relationship in a negative way. And it does for a lot of other people, whether they're aware of it or not. But yeah, what happened was it got near to the end of us having sex. And basically the reason why we stopped was not because I was nowhere near ejaculation 
It wasn't because I was near ejaculation or because I was not at all. I was doing things to last very long and I can easily achieve that with the things that I basically do. And I'll put a link down below for that video where I talk about how to last so long, like an hour or more, like I managed to rather than minutes when I used to in the past from like premature ejaculation, which is very embarrassing and didn't make me feel good whatsoever. And yeah, the actual reason why we stopped was because we got to a point where my body said to me, yeah, I'm completely sexually satiated. I do not need any more sexual experiences right now. I do not need to continue this. And basically me and my girlfriend are very in tune with each other. And basically we fell in sync. This happens every single time where we both feel that at the same time. And we did this time again. So we stopped and we went and carried on with our life. But what I have found since that point it has stimulated me a lot because it was such an amazing sexual experience, one of the best ones we've ever had, basically. Yeah, it's obviously going to overstimulate me a bit. So yeah, basically my brain's been fantasizing even more and today it was insane. Just everything, I was making sexual innuendos about so many things and just being very flirtatious with my girlfriend and just like, just seeing so many females as like high sexual beings and feel, feeling very very drawn to them as well so yeah basically that carried on throughout most of the day today and then throughout the rest of the day basically what I did was just focus somewhere else get on with the rest of my life forget about it and it dissipated completely so what I need to mention to people is yeah you need to take control of these urges and it's literally mind over matter and you can either choose to go in the direction of doing certain things that will make you go over the edge and relapse on no fat, or you can choose to stay on no fat and just say no. It's that simple. But yeah, I do want to mention to people, with this amazing energy that you're gonna get on this no fat lifestyle, you need to be proactive in your life and channel it into something. Otherwise, it's gonna build up so intensely within you and you are gonna to go towards relapsing. And yeah, you just don't want that because it's not gonna make you feel good. So yeah, that's basically how it's going. And yeah, I will keep you posted on any different changes that I notice. And yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love answering your questions. And if you like the video, like it down below. Share it with others that you think might find this helpful because they may learn some valuable information and get some great insights from this video that I've just made for you and them. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below because I have so many more videos coming on a regular basis talking about no fat, careers, healthy living, veganism, detoxification, fitness, and so many more things that I've used myself over the years to transform my life and my health and just for me to achieve the high state of health and happiness in mind, body, and spirit. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a happy, no fat free day. Bye.